Uh, I think it would, I mean, Adidas as a, uh, as a brand performs consistently. And I think for me, uh, the pairing of two giants within their respective sports of Johnny Wilkinson and David Beckham, and all that paid to some of the stereotypes associated with the rugby player versus footballer in terms of Johnny's there in his shorts and his t-shirt and David Beckham's obviously dressed the nines. You know, there's the, the palpable sense of uh, enjoyment, comradeship, uh, and mutual respect, uh, and a brand that's just simply saying, you know, you can do great things with our boots. Kind of three really, I mean, I think like everybody else, you know, winning the opportunity to stage the 2012 Olympics is phenomenal. Uh, losing the 2018 bid to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. But for me, uh, it's more personal, and I think it was the incredible achievement of Eddie Izzard uh, and his 43 marathons in 51 days, which, you know, in today's world where athletes are cosseted at every technological and scientific advance uh, we've had, uh, for someone just to prove with under five weeks of training, with sheer bloody mindedness and determination to achieve something that most of us would think is wholly beyond us. Uh, in this day and age, it's just an amazing feat. It goes back to Beijing and um, the now uh, Sir Chris Hoy and his uh, three gold medals, which uh, also being a Scotsman, uh, you know, is the greatest Scottish Olympian we've ever had, um, but also the only Briton, I think, to win since 1908, uh, three gold medals in a single event. And also, I think with Victoria Pendleton and Sky, they have managed to, with a single cathartic move, uh, incorporate cycling into the British psyche. And actually, as a nation, you know, we are exercising uh, in a much better, more fluid, and that's all really through the use of our bicycles. Uh, August 2008, and Usain Bolt, um, the man who has uh, 100, 200, and the 4 by 100. Uh, relay uh, gold medals under his belt. The first man to break 9.7 seconds. Um, an incredible athlete and I think uh, luckily for us in London 2012 we're still to see the best of him and who knows it could happen here.